Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS A10C2 tank killer video, we'll look at the GVU-54 Laser JDAM. The GVU-54 is a 500 pound class bomb with options for INS GPS and laser homing guidance. It can be loaded in all 1760 smart racks. While the INS GPS allows you to launch and leave and the ability to engage through clouds and smoke cover, the laser guidance provides increased accuracy and the ability to engage moving targets. It's up to you to determine the best guidance for the engagement. Let's get started. So before we jump into the mission, let's take a look at some of the HOTAS controls that we'll be using. Uh, naturally, the aircraft of choice is the A10C2 Real. Uh, category, we'll go to the axes commands first. And the big one here is the ability to uh, slew the cursor on the displays. And we're doing that with HOTAS slew horizontal and HOTAS slew vertical, uh, both of which you can see I have mapped to the mini stick on my throttle here. Next category is the hands on throttle and stick or HOTAS right here. And the ones here are going to be the HOTAS switch aft. Uh, center and forward, then the china hat aft and forward, the coolie switch down, left, right, and up, the display management switch or DMS for aft, forward, left, and right, the master mode button, the target management switch or TMS for aft, forward, left, and right. And finally, of course, the weapon release button. Okay, let's take a look at this in the mission now. Okay, so let's crop some laser JDAMs. And the first thing we'll do is we'll use the master mode button on the stick to go to the continuous computed release point or CCRP mode. So we'll press once to go to guns, second time to CCIP, and now a third time to CCRP. Uh, next, let's change the profile. So right now we're in the weapons off profile. Let's go DMIS right short to go to the uh, Mike 151 Lima, which is the APKWS uh, laser guided rocket system. One more time, it goes to the Maverick, and now a final time to the GB54, and that's where we want to be. Uh, up ahead here, through the HUD, we can see a square with a line, and that indicates our current steer point. That's also our sensor point of interest. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, slay the targeting pod to look at that point to find a target. So, let's turn on the uh, air-to-ground mode of the pod, bring up the uh, latch. Now we'll make the targeting pod soy by going long right on the coolie switch. And now to slave the targeting pod to the speed, we'll go aft uh, long on the china hat. So now we're looking at the airfield, which is where we want to be. Let's uh, go to IR polarity uh, aft on the boat switch. And we can do the field of view change in by going forward on the china hat. And now we can use the uh, DEMA switch forward and back to zoom in and out. And I'm using the mini stick on my throttle now to move around the crosshairs. Zoom in on this guy. That's good. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and make the, this my new sensor point of interest for speed by going TEMAS forward long. Okay, now that's my new speed, which this coordinate now would be handed off to the uh, laser JDAM to uh, hit this target when in the INS GPS mode. Uh, next, let's bring up the digital storage management system on the left side. So go uh, coolie switch to the left short, again and again. And here we can see that we have uh, two GB54s, uh, one on station four, one on station eight, and they're cycling between the alignment status, which is ready, and the uh, laser code, which is the default 1688. But if you wanted to uh, change that laser code to match, say, your targeting pod or an external designation, we can go to inventory, click on a station, go to GBU, go to GB54, and here on the right side we have laser code, and you simply uh, punch in the uh, laser code you want, and then uh, uh, press the OSB here to enter it. Let's come back out to the TAD. 
So for this first attack, uh, we're going against this uh, static uh, AAA piece. So we're just going to be doing INS GPS guidance without any laser. And this is, of course, ideal for a static target that's not moving or if the uh, targets are under a cloud layer or dust. On the left side of the HUD, we can see the range to target about 4.7 with the uh, time to reach it of uh, 50 seconds, so we're well within range. Let's go ahead and press and hold the weapon release button and bomb away. On the, uh, the TAD, you can see the uh, green uh, diamond is where the uh, target pot is looking, the yellow square is the current steer point, and the uh, white wedding cake symbol is our sensor point of interest. Uh, the time to impact is here at the bottom of the staple, about 13 seconds right now. Warning, autopilot. And shack. Okay, so for the second attack, we're going to be going against a moving target this time. So for this, uh, not only won't give us an increased accuracy, but it'll also allow us to engage moving targets, is the laser guidance portion of the laser JDAM. So I'm going to come off here to the right to give the targeting pod a good look at the target area and find a mover. Looks like I have two right here. So zoom in. Yep. Let's designate that for a second. And swing back in. Here's our as with steering line pointing to our speed. Okay, I'll snag a point track on this target. So we've got a good point. We're within two miles. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the weapon release button. Bombs off the jet. I'm going to press the uh, nose wheel steering button now to turn on the blazer with the flashing L. Time to impact is 15 seconds. Eight seconds. And shack. So folks, this is a little overview of the GB-54, both in the INS GPS guidance mode as well as the laser guidance mode. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.